Question of the day, mother truckers. Have you ever had a co-driver, a trainer, or you were the trainer and you had to basically live with a stranger in the truck for many months and you guys just didn't get along? Mother truckers, comment down below. You know, I want to make positive videos. People say, Alex, why are you always giving this realistic truth and why don't you do more of people sharing and loving? And I do want to do that, but I want you guys to know the truth of what it is like when you get out here trucking you know uh, the people that are saying you're going to make a million dollars the people that are saying that life is so easy you could drive it's a paid vacation you know some parts it's true but for the most part is real is grimy and you're going to have to run like heck to make some money to provide for your family so I thought about it, you know, uh, so many subscribers have sent me these links from everywhere, from Google, Yahoo News, CDO Life, and just saying, Alex, talk about this situation right here. And I wanted to give it some time because I wanted more context because the situation is extremely real and a lot of people are going through something on this level of dealing with another person in the truck and they're not getting along. They're calling the company, the dispatcher. They're calling everybody and they're saying, hey, look, I'm just letting you know I can't work with this person and y'all are making me work with this person. And so it gets real out here. And so the situation right here is basically uh, Aristides Garcia, 63 has been bound for Cedar Rapids, Iowa, the home base of CRST, alongside a co-driver, Miguel Abagaran. When his family reported him missing, police basically launched a multi-state search. And this is the situation that's so sad that happened. The investigation ended on March 15th when a cleaning crew actually found uh, Garcia's body in Indiana, you know, so sad, you know, and they arrested his co-driver in Texas. So there's a couple pieces of this. Where was the semi truck? You know, did, uh, Miguel drive it all the way to Texas by himself? What was that situation? So I'm just letting you guys know this is allegedly, okay. We don't know. What's what yet is still has to go to trial. But here's the crazy part. Um, so many times, you know, we get in this truck. I went with Jenna for a year. And sometimes we really hated our guts. And that's someone you love. So when you go in a truck, in a cab with a stranger and there are egos in place and just people yelling and one is training and one is not learning and one is getting frustrated while one is yelling. It's like, it's just so much, right? And I know you guys hearing this, you could probably think of maybe a trainee or a trainer where it was a situation like this, where not at this extent, but as far as not getting along on that level. But the underlining of it all is, hey, if you're just not getting along, you know, just you got to get out of that toxic environment, regardless of the situation. Mother truckers, comment down below.